When we talk about water and panic, let me tell you a quick story real quick. My father was in the convalescent home. I did not want that. I wanted him home with me. I had to convince the doctor that I had a nurse's aid certificate I had gotten in the 12th grade in high school. And here I was, 27 at the time. And I had worked three years in a convalescent home, and I was more than ready, willing, and able to bring him home and take good care of him. Well, the doctor dragged his feet. I didn't know if it was because he was trying to make money, the home was trying to make money or what, but I was smelling a rat, and I didn't like it. I thought the whole picture stunk. So I wanted to react. I mean, I'd only been saved two months, and... I know how to cuss somebody out. Now, I can tell somebody off now. I can open my big mouth and peel the paint off the walls. I make a sailor sound like a little nun. That's how bad I cussed. I was born in New York, baby. You know, we can get loud from New York. So anyway, I'm getting ready to plan my little dastardly deed how I'm going to get to this place and I'm going to snatch him out of there and we're going to make a hasty escape and I'm going to rescue my pop. All this while I'm standing at the window, tears running down my face because I'm seething, boy, I'm angry. And I hear it's almost like an invisible hand goes to the radio and slowly turns up the volume until the ear connects with the brain and then it stills my spirit and I find myself listening to these words and I said to him, you know how we say when we are, no you didn't yeah, God sure did that listen to this this is what was sung to me we must wait 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 on the Lord, we must wait, wait, wait on the Lord, we must learn our lessons well, in his timing he will tell us what to do, where to go, what to say. I'm like, Lord, I don't want to wait. I want to <laughs> We must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must wait. I don't want to wait, wait. I don't want to wait. Wait on the Lord. We must learn our lessons well. In his timing, he will tell us what to do. I don't want to do that. Where to go. I don't what to say wait on the Lord wait on the Lord wait on the Lord wait I say on the Lord Oh, you talk about somebody kicking and screaming in their spirit. That song just went. I couldn't find all that anger if I dug for it. It just disappeared. It evaporated. Up in a puff of steam. A puff of smoke. Gone. And I was at total peace. Only God can do stuff like that, especially when you're in the kind of panic mode I was in. God is good. That's why we need to walk with him. Three or four days later, after they took my father to the hospital and checked him for a few other things, he came home. And two days after he came home, he was in his right mind. And two weeks after he was in his right mind, after observing the miracle set before him, 
he knew there was a God. And at 81 and a half years old, my father gave his heart to the Lord at the dining room table in our house. And I saw the change. So I say that to say, when God is in control, it all works together for the good to those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Remember that. When God is for you, who can be against you? Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. God bless you.